Welcome to History of Health Information Technology in the U.S., History of Health IT Organizations. This is Lecture B, Standards Development Organizations. This lecture will review the background of several standards development organizations. The objectives for this lecture, Standards Development Organizations, are to describe the origins, current focus, and relationships among the following standards development organizations, HL7, HITSB, and the ONC Health IT Standards Committee. I want to briefly mention some of the background to the current processes for determining the standards for electronic health records, which involve a different type of organization known as Standards Development Organizations. Standards development organizations are composed of a group of stakeholders who get together to determine standards in a wide variety of areas. As a simple example, you know that the electric outlets in the U.S. either have two or three slits arranged in a certain way, and that plugs on appliances are made so they can fit into them. This is one example of a standard. There are a variety of kinds of standards related to electronic health records that are still in the process of evolving, and the organizations that develop these standards are also evolving. The International Organization for Standardization is, as its name implies, an international organization. Because that name would have different abbreviations in different languages, they use the simple abbreviation ISO rather than different abbreviations. The American National Standards Institute, or ANSI, is a standards development organization in the U.S. They are part of the international organization. They have been involved in many of the coding standards for EHRs. HL7 stands for Health Level 7, and most of the technical communications standards for EHRs follow their standards. That is, messages from one system to another use the HL7 standard so they can be understood by the different systems. HL7 also has developed vocabulary and terminology standards for EHRs. In the last few years, with the push for EHRs, there was a standard setting group that worked with the Certification Commission for Healthcare Information Technology. This group, known as HITSP, had a contract with the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology, but that contract ended in the spring of 2010. The Health IT Standards Committee now provides advice to the National Coordinator and is going to be the main developer of standards for EHRs. Members of the three professional organizations that we discussed in the first lecture have been actively involved with this standard-setting activity over the years, as well as with policy decisions related to EHRs. The National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST, is an agency within the U.S. Department of Commerce. It's not a standards-developing organization like the other ones we just described, but it does research and develops recommendations for measurement standards in a variety of areas. In 2010, it developed a draft guidance on how to assess the usability of EHRs. In the future, as these recommendations get refined, it will likely provide guidance to both EHR vendors and local sites like hospitals and doctor's offices on how to design and configure EHRs to make them easier to use. The word interoperability refers to seamless communication between systems. In the past, and even today, health information technology has been anything but seamless. 
As the standards development organizations do their work, we can expect that in the future we will take interoperable standards for granted, as we do with our plug-and-play devices today. This concludes History of Health IT Organizations. In summary, in this lecture, we have described the origins, current focus, and relationships among some important standards development organizations.